like damn, she in her mood. Like damn, she in her mood. Like damn, she in her mood. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell for all notifications when I go live and when I upload. Today, this is a this is a request I'm reacting to a bride who did not want to say one part of her wedding vows. What is that? We shall see. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. Cherish. Cherish. And to obey. <laughs> We did talk about that in council. Yes, we did. So you want me to repeat that again? You want to just keep going? I think we can keep going. All right. <laughs> in sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. Cherish. Cherish. And to obey. <laughs> Ooh, we did talk about that one in council. Okay, so she doesn't agree with the obey part these are old school vows my thing is why didn't they look over the vows before it was read i think you can do that i think you can even make up your own vows um some people thought that this was cute and funny other people thought it was problematic because it gives you a glimpse of the possible future that she doesn't believe in obeying her husband and that she's not going to listen to her man but i don't know how i feel about it to be honest with you I, I don't know, because huh, when you're traditional, traditionally, I mean, that was a part of the vows, but a lot of women ain't trying to hear that no more. I'm not, I'm not your slave. I'm not your slave. Just because you say something doesn't make you right because you are a man. You can be wrong. And should I obey you if what you're trying to tell me is bad advice or it can hurt us or you're trying to abuse me? I think that's where a lot of women get kind of upset with those vows, the obey part, because they think, will he take advantage of this type of authority and abuse me? A lot of men do. They automatically think, well, I'm your husband now. I can tell you what to do. I can tell you to go fetch me some water. You fetch it. Whatever I say, you do. You're my slave now. I, I'm the man. You obey. You obey. My thing is, why are people getting married to the wrong people? Don't get me wrong. Some men can hide it until after the wedding day. It does happen. I'm torn about this because I see, you know, people who uh, the debates about, you know, marriage and things like that. And a lot of people are getting into marriages with the wrong people. That's what the problem is. I'm not the first person to say that. I just was watching earlier today. The well, today is Sunday watch a themis and thought the cynthia g debate about marriage and there were a lot of good points but it's true a lot of people are marrying the wrong people um if i love my man and i want to marry him would i be upset at hearing to obey him more than likely probably not but some people take their vows you should very very seriously you just don't give up marriage because things got hard it's not like that's your boyfriend it's completely different or that's just your girlfriend is different you're married you know and um does he have automatic authority just because he is male even though he might not have as much as much sense as me maybe i'm the smarter one in the marriage that does happen um but you know you want to respect him too as the husband as your if you're going to say i want a man to lead me i want a man to be my head i want him to be masculine i want him to be the authority well these are certain things that come with that role with you listening to him that's also true too so i, I just don't know what to think on this i mean it's kind of awkward for this to happen on the wedding day because is she embarrassing him, you know, in front of people saying, I'm not going to obey you. Um, but he laughed it off. Um, would she listen to her husband? I mean, there's a chance she would. I think she should have known what was in these vows before it came, they came up there. And she said, we didn't discuss this in counseling. It's just a lot going on between men and women right now where men want tradition, but they don't want to be traditional men. Women want a traditional man but they don't want to follow tradition. That's also happening too. So it's just a uh, um, mis mis mismatch is going on between both men and women.
and um, a fear, again, of women, a fear of being taken advantage of and being abused, which happens to so many women in miserable marriages. So people need to talk about the important things before they even get up there to to, to say the I do's. Y'all need to find out what, what page are y'all on? What is it? What is it? Everything. That's why I think so many marriages in this country are failing because most people don't even know who they're marrying. They're not asking the important questions until too late. I just had a live um, yesterday where I said, once the penis is gone, when he gets older and your children have left because people cling on to their kids, what's left? What's left with him that you want to stay with him? He, he can't, it can't work no more. Down there, the penis ain't working. So you're not getting that. Your kids are not keeping you busy and making you feel fulfilled. They're gone. So it's just you and him. It's just you and him stuck together. Can you look at him and think, I want to be stuck with you. I'm okay with not having the physical anymore. I love you. I want you. And it's the same thing with men. Oh, so that's all I have to say for this. I'm torn on this. I'm not, I mean, I said what I said. I'm not 100% sure. I know in the comments section, many of you will let us all know how you feel. Do you think she was wrong for not wanting to say to obey him with her vows? Do you think this is a glimpse of future problem between them possibly? Do you think that those vows are outdated and they need to be upgraded without saying to obey someone like a slave? What do you think? Do you want a traditional man? What is tradition to you? What is a traditional marriage to you? Let me know in the comments section. Y'all take care.